Israeli troops supported by tanks are conducting operations inside Gaza's largest hospital. Their movements can be seen in this Israeli drone footage. On Wednesday evening, the Israeli army released this video. I am in the Shifa hospital, as you can see from the sign behind me. And as it claims to show weapons and other items belonging to Hamas. Totally confirm, without any doubt, that Hamas systematically uses hospitals in their military operations in violation of international law. But the Israeli army deleted the video it described as undeniable truth from social media, later reposting it under a different description they say exposes the countless Hamas weapons. These images cannot be independently verified. Hamas denies using the hospital as a base, calling it a lie to justify Israel's destruction of Gaza's medical infrastructure. Israel and its allies say the raids are justified. The first war crime is being committed by Hamas by having their headquarters, their military, hidden under a hospital. And that's a fact. That's what's happened. Doctors say the raids continue. The situation is catastrophic. We are surrounded by tanks. The Israeli soldiers are inside the hospital. The soldiers searched and inspected every department. They took the bodies and blew up the water line. We do not have any electricity or any of life's necessities. Troops cut off communication and searched all buildings of the complex housing thousands of people. Another doctor says Israeli raids are a continued violation of international law. Hospitals are protected under international law and no one can invade it. But this enemy has disregarded all the international laws and invaded the hospitals and humiliated some of the patients, injured and arrested some of the medics in this first invasion. Now it is invading again Al Shifa medical complex and our medical staff and patients are at a very high risk because of this brutal enemy. Meanwhile, an Israeli news site Walla is quoting security sources who believe Hamas may have carried out what it calls engineering operations to conceal tunnel openings and plant explosives at Al Shifa. <laughs> Among the 650 patients reported to still be inside the facility are 36 premature babies, fighting a different fight as the war rages on. Michael Apple, Al Jazeera.